Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Man Mechanic. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Nomad Edition. And we are starting right where we left off. We have our craft bot still crafting all of the resources that we mined after improving our mining vehicle immensely from gas to electric tank steering. And uh, today... We're gonna do the Glowbug Nomad experiment. We're gonna see if having a Glowbug farm is doable in the Nomad lifestyle. I think there's gonna be some challenges and issues with it. From what I've heard, Glowbugs need water to survive. In my last survival world, I never actually tested that. I just assumed that they'd be more comfortable in water, so I put them in water and didn't have to worry about it. But I never actually confirmed that they would die outside of water. But I think they do. But I figured we have plenty of room on top of the RV over there. Um, so I'll try to see if I can make some type of a kennel or just area. Not a nice comfortable area for them to sit around. And um, then we got to figure out how to get them to produce glow. Oh, there's the glow bug right there. Yeah, I want to figure out if, there's, if it's possible for me to create a system... That'll make them produce glow poop while they're up there. Because in case you weren't already familiar, glow bugs eat cardboard and then produce glow poop, which we can then use to make things like um, explosives and batteries. We need glow for batteries. That was the main thing. That was the main reason why this episode was inspired. Because we now have an electric mining vehicle which uses batteries. So if we're going to want to charge that thing or refill the fuel of that thing, then we are going to need a uh, glow, a regular source of glow. So if I put him up here, he might escape at some point, but let me just keep him there for now and let's go and find another one and let's see if he's still there when we get back. All right, we're back at the RV. Is the other glow bug still here? Yes, it is. So they must last at least a decent amount of time. All right, my refinery finally finished refining. <laughs> what is that sentence? My refinery finally finished refining the uh, rods. That is a ridiculous sentence. All right, we didn't... Is this all the metal we got from all that mining we did in the last episode? Just not even two stacks? Are you serious? Oh, oh, what does it take to produce cardboard? I'm assuming I have what I need to produce cardboard. We just need... Oh, oh we need scrap wood, really? I mean, I guess, you know, we can do some um, wood harvesting with our vehicle, too. We got the saw blades for it, that's for sure. But let's just start producing as much cardboard as it'll let us. That produces... Oh, that produces five of these produce 20 cardboard? All right, that's actually a pretty good return. We'll have plenty of cardboard for glow. All right, now with these just sitting up here with all the space in the world, let's see how they respond to the vehicle moving. Okay, okay. I mean, they're trying to stay on it, but you can see that if there's any bumps, they don't like it. So let's uh, now experiment with creating like little kennels for them. Yeah, because in my last survival world, they were definitely static. They were not on a moving plat. Look at this guy on the pipe. <laughs> do you also feed off the uh, the craft bot fumes? I don't think that's healthy. Don't do that. Then again, they eat cardboard. So their idea of health probably is uh, a little bit different. All right, so let me just put them behind this sign for now. I don't know how much space they're going to need, but let's give them this much for now. We'll just stick them right in here. Is that enough for both of you guys? Oh, yeah, it looks like more than enough. All right, now let's uh, drive around with them there and see how they respond. It's like a little pen, like a little glow bug pen. I feel like they're going to die. <gasps> I have to try this. Why did I do this after? Why did I think of this after I got the glow bugs? They're totally going to fly out of here. <laughs> but I have to try this jump. I can't not try this jump in the Hank tank. Oh boy, this is gonna be st oh a glow bug already fell out. Okay, that's bad. Um, I might have to experiment with a cover, like a glass cover that I can have a button that lifts and closes it. <gasps> you know what? That's actually really good to do right now because we're gonna be going off a jump, and that'll be the ultimate test of whether or not it's even effective. All right, so let's put the controller right in front like that, so it actually looks like somewhat of a control panel. We got the button that hooks into the controller, and then that controller opens this up 90 degrees. You know, I feel like I don't even need 90 degrees. Maybe like 75 is going to be good. And turn the speed up a little bit. Okay, so now that the it's the sun setting, I don't want the sun to be too, I don't want it to be too dark when I do this epic jump. So now let's see if the glow bugs can handle this jump without dying. <laughs> Let's see if I can handle this jump without dying. Oh, they're totally gonna die. They're gonna get pinched. What? Glowbugs? How dare you? 
All right, well, I'm going for the jump anyway. Here we go. Woo! No way. Oh, did you see the glow bugs? That went so much better than I expected it to. Like, really, really good. Oh, the uh, the farm bot's here, too. I might as well... No, I don't want to waste my ammo on him. Never mind. I was going to say I might as well kill him for the uh, for the component kits, but it could just be one component kit, and I don't want to waste all that ammo. But it looks like this place has already recharged with, um, with loot. All right, and this is really interesting because there was definitely no loot in this um, empty waterbed last time I was here, which was the last episode, and now all of a sudden there is, and there's loot everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and loot this place, and then we'll check on the glow bugs because they totally survived that jump somehow. They went up in the air, landed right back down, and survived it. But disappointingly, as you guys saw, they glitched right through the walls of the pen that I built for them. So how rude of them not to, uh, you know, not I, I invited them onto my RV. I took them from their homes, and nicely invited them onto my RV, and this is this is how they thank me. They try to escape. There's a farm bot stuck over here. Too bad there's no other simple way to kill him other than using spud ammo, because I don't want to waste 60 spud ammo on that guy. But at least he's uh, he's not a threat to us right now. Look at this. Yeah, this doesn't do anything, I don't think. All right, have a good time. Uh, I'll come back and check on you later, maybe. I will. All right, so glow bugs, uh, maybe if I do a double wide uh, barrier here, I'll go ahead and increase this by one. All right, just as an experiment, and now let's try to do this jump backwards. I know this is gonna be kind of reckless. Let's get as much of a lead up as we can. I'm just gonna go straight backwards and see if we can do this. Here we go. Watch the glow bugs on the top. Oh no, glow bugs, why have you forsaken me? Okay, well only one of the, wait, wait, wait. Hey, this one didn't forsake me. He actually came to hang out with me. But the other one definitely forsook me. I've been forsook. All right, Glowbug, we gotta go get our friend. I'm just having fun with this jump, to be honest. Glowbug? 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 I think we may have lost our Glowbug. Yeah, I think we definitely lost... Nope, he's up here now. He's just up here now. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did the other guy somehow get up here? <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's put these guys back in their pen, which they have no respect for boundaries, literally. All right, this time I'm going to turn around before I do the jump because... Are you serious? You know what? Maybe, maybe, it's, the, uh, maybe it's the cover that's pushing them out so quickly. All right, let's put them in without the cover closed and see how they respond to that. Oh, nope, nope, they just pop right out anyway. And man, he's just really cruising back like that. This is definitely making the job of Glowbug Farmer uh, much more difficult. All right, here we go. I just want to get them out of this area. No, 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 stay with me. Stay with me, no! <laughs> oh, look at this guy. What is this? What are you guys doing? Be cooperative, please. All right, come with me, Glowy. <gasps> oh, I almost fell. All right, back into your pen you go. I'm gonna leave the top open for a little bit more just to observe, see how they do. See, so, like right now they're doing perfectly fine. I'm going pretty fast. I don't know. They were falling out so quickly back there though. All right, what's going on? Why, all right, now it's working. It's working, whoa, 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 getting some lag because of the warehouse. Oh, were they pushing each, oh, there's a tape bot right there. One second, please. Gonna do a little bit of that. Thank you. Is this a four story? Oh, this is a four story one. Ooh, we can get some glass from this thing as well and one of these lights, some more glass. And you know what, I'm gonna steal this seat. I'm gonna use this seat for something. I don't know what. We just need we need another seat. I only have one seat on this thing. And a bed. Alright, well the glow bugs are definitely surviving. I feel like I want to make the pen a little bit longer though. So let's give them each an individual area. Okay, so you're gonna be over here and you're gonna be right there. And we're gonna put a barrier right in between you guys. Alright, no more picking on each other, okay? Alright, so I've extended the glass covering and I think we're good to drive around a little bit more. Let's see if they glitch through anymore. 
They're gonna do it like right away this time, aren't they? Yeah, you can definitely see. Uh, man, you can. No! Oh, man, what is with that? Come on, scrap mechanic. Let me have a mobile glow bug farm. Wow, that is ridiculous. All right, so that was with the cover down, though, because we were working better without the cover, I think. So let's try this same setup without the cover now. You know what, let me just remove the cover entirely so it's not even a factor. Because it was still kind of covering that last slot. So maybe without that, it'll be even better. You know what? It actually seems like they do stay more stable. Okay. Alright, I said no picking on each other. Where? Oh, he's in the back now. Well, I thought it was going to work better without the cover, but it's still a problem. Stay still. Ugh. All right, see, sometimes it's like, I think they're gonna fall, like they should have fallen out there, I feel like, as opposed to anywhere else that we've already driven. Like this area is the most uneven. Oh, there we go, now they're doing it. Yep. Now this, believe it or not, is just one of a couple of challenges of having a nomadic uh, glow bug farm. And the other challenge is going to be harvesting the actual glow poop automatically, if we want to do it automatically, and doing it on the move especially. So I've gone ahead and made a chest and a vacuum pump, and this way we can create some type of automatic uh, uh, cardboard dispenser. All right, here we go. So now the cardboard is in here, and now actually if I hook up this switch to that vacuum pump. Oh, I need a logic gate system to repeat the output, otherwise it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna need to make some logic gates, and I'm out of glue. All right, I need two more logic gates, so I gotta make two more glue. So let's see if these guys can survive the path. Oh no, this is not a good start already. Where's the water? Where's the nearest water? Oh boy, what he? Did, well, okay, this is this is absolutely terrible. Yeah, this is not. <laughs> this is not a practical thing to do at all. But we're doing it. All right, this is a small little body of water. Let's see if we can find enough glue clams in here. First, let's wrangle the glow bugs. These things are these things are a nightmare to keep track of. Okay, logic gates are finally crafting, so we should be able to have this automatic cardboard producer set up in no time. Well, there's there's time. It's not no time. You can see the time right here. There's there's time. All right, so now when I press the button, we should get pretty much unlimited, not unlimited, but as much cardboard as I have. This should just keep feeding them. Now the issue that I'm seeing is when they produce a piece of glow. I think it's gonna fall through the RV. Which means that if we're on the move, we're just gonna lose the glow as we drive. Pretty sure. Come on, let's see the glow. There we go. And yep, just as suspected, it falls all the way through the RV to the ground. So it, it looks like having any type of glow poop production has to be a static task. You cannot move while it's happening. Actually, let's see what happens with the glow bugs if I'm moving while they're trying to eat. All right, they're still managing to eat it somehow, but I feel like they're definitely having more trouble. But yeah, once they produce something, it's gonna be gone. Like here, let's just keep slowly moving around, wait until they produce another piece of glow poop. Oh, there we go. Yep, and see it falls down behind us, but I mean, we could back up and um, pick it up with our thing, if I can line myself up correctly. There we go, I just picked it up. So it's no longer behind us, right? Yep, we got it. Uh, and there goes another one down there now, too. Oh, and we got it. So, hey, the Inhost pipes, uh, they actually, they're, they're, they serve a purpose here. <laughs> but if we're going too fast, there's no way that it's going to be a successful pickup all the time. And something tells me that, like, so one solution that I'm, that is crossing my mind is, oh, what if there's an intake vacuum pipe that is just going to vacuum up as soon as they poop it out, it just immediately vacuums it up. What if that's a thing? Which seems like a reasonable thing to consider, but I honestly think that the way that they function is um, this stuff isn't going to be vacuumable until it settles on the ground. I think when it's in the air, because when it's in the air, I can't pick it up before it hits the ground. So I don't think a vacuum pump would be able to pick it up before it hits the ground. Here, I'll try to catch one. 
Yeah, see, I couldn't do it. I was I was holding right click the whole time, and it doesn't apply. I don't think it is a retrievable object until it settles on the ground. But you know what? I can produce exactly one more chest. So let's try it. I already produced another uh, vacuum pump earlier because I was thinking about this option anyway, but I didn't have enough to produce another chest. For the sake of science, and because I know you guys are going to be telling me to do this if I don't try it, uh, I'm going to see if I can use a vacuum pump to pick up the glow before it hits the ground. And I hope you're happy because I used my last component kits on this thing. See, the other issue is that the glow seems to go off in like somewhat random directions, so I kind of feel like something like this... Even if it could possibly work, I feel like there's a chance that the glow wouldn't uh, trigger it anyway. But it's on, so when the next glow poop comes out, let's see if this thing sucks it up. That was prime. That was like a prime poop toss <laughs> by that glow bug. It's a weird sentence. I really, I don't think this is possible at all. Let's give it a couple of tries though. Because the other issue is I think it takes like a second for it to even react if there's even something in the path. But I'm also pretty sure that this will turn green if it's if it detects something that it can do and then sometimes it takes a second for it to react at least that's my experience with the uh the inhost pipes in the back yep see that didn't that didn't trigger it either let's give this one a chance over here to do it again here it comes here it comes there we go yep see i feel like you couldn't ask for a better poop toss than that so the only real way to do this is just like this just have a glow bug pen and um when you need glow poop just be very, very patient, grab some glow bugs, and just sit and wait. Don't move around, just wait for it to accumulate as it drops down below you, the vehicle. And um, I really, I can't think of a better option than this, to be honest. I really can't. All right, let me see, what does it take to make explosives? Now that I've actually produced a little bit of glow poop, can I produce some explosives? Okay, so it takes fuel, glow, and paint. I do have some paint. I want to produce as many small explosives as I can, just for some, just to have on hand. You know, you know, I'm going to do both. Let's just switch back and forth. I'll just make as many as both as I can as my glow bugs are producing glow poop. What better way to put this poop to use than some high explosive energy? Oh, where should I put this chair? I forgot that I got this chair. I think the chair should be up here somewhere. Now, right, let's just stick the chair right here. I'm even gonna put a bearing on it. There we go. So now the chair is a spinny chair. Look at that. All right, so this is basically the um, the lifeguard equivalent of a glow bug farm. You know, you can sit right here and uh, you can watch the glow bugs and make sure they don't fall out of the pen. You know, while I'm here, I might as well kill two birds with one stone and... Uh, Start vacuuming up some water, because if I ever farm again, I'm actually running low on water. And we'll have an entire chest dedicated just to the uh, farm water here. There we go. Perfect. All right, and I think we are officially out of cardboard now. So let's go ahead and turn this off. And we didn't get that much out of that, to be honest. I right, got another eight, which means I can produce, I think, one more big canister. All right, so with all that time feeding these glow bugs and collecting their poop, I was able to make a total of six canisters, four small and two large. So uh, definitely a costly use of time because you can't really do much while that's happening. And I'm also noticing that batteries are pretty costly for glow as well. They're not that much less costly than the explosives because a small explosive canister costs six glow, whereas a battery costs five glow. So it would be really, really difficult in the nomad lifestyle to recoup your batteries, actually. At least through crafting, you can find a decent amount of batteries like from tape bots and, you know, just various looting and stuff, but still, oh, they're, they're together again here. So I think we definitely learned from this experiment what I thought we were going to learn, which is that glow bugs are not fit for the nomad lifestyle. They're, there's just too many complications. They don't like to be on moving vehicles. Moving vehicles cannot catch the glow the vacuum pumps cannot catch the glow before they hit the ground, so um, it kind of defeats—it kind of defeats a lot of the purpose of the nomad lifestyle. You just kind of have to stay stationary for a pretty long time just to get your glow. You can't have it be producing while you're out and about doing things. So yeah, if you got any other ideas that you'd like to see happen in the Nomad series, then let me know down in the comments below. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can check out right here on the end screen. Hope this video earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrap Man, and I'll see you next time. Bye.